So good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Another beautiful day. Uh, excited about what God's going to do today. And uh, I just pray that we're ready to be used by Him, to work for Him, to share Him with others today, and, and live a life that will honor Him and glorify Him this morning. I want to speak to you today from the book of Amos, uh, chapter 4. Uh, Israel has been away from God, and, and God has been after them and trying His best to get them to come back to Him and quit what they were doing through the prophet Amos. And, and Israel did not accept his corrections. They would not change their ways. And in verse 12, we hear some words that are uh, should open up our heart, eyes and our ears to realize there comes a time when God draws the line. He puts his foot down. And in chapter uh, 4 of the book of Amos, verse 12, it says, Therefore thus will I do to you, O Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. And we see in this, in this chapter here, in, in verses 6 through 12, God is doing his best to get Israel's attention that they have wandered away from him and they need to come back home. And, and, uh, and before just utterly destroying them or putting them into captivity, God has done everything he can do to get their attention. He's, he often uses drastic measures, and in this case, it was famines and droughts and devastations of crops and plagues and, war, and warfare and an effort to get their attention that they had left and needed to come back. But they refused and they refused and they refused, and they would not come back. And then God said, well, prepare to meet your God. And that's something else that we need to understand. God is doing everything he can today to get this world's attention that they have wandered away from him. He is trying his best to get this country that we live in that was founded upon God's word that has now wandered away, has done everything possibly to remove him from anything that we have to say in this country. And he's trying to get our attention to come back as a country and as individuals. And you see, folks, there's coming a day that God, who is our Savior, who is the one that loves us and who is the one that is calling us to come back and repent and acknowledge Him, there's coming a day when that line will be drawn. And after that, God will be a divine judge. I pray today that you already know Him as your Lord and Savior. I pray today you've already asked for forgiveness of your sins. But you see, there's coming a day this country, this world, will acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the true God to be worshipped. Because the Bible clearly says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that He is God Almighty. So why not do it today and bow in a heart of repentance and a heart of sorrow and ask for forgiveness of our sins and come to know Him and serve Him and do that that He would have us to do because one day, he's going to say, okay, that's it. Jesus, go get your bride. Go get your church. Prepare to meet thy God. I pray today you've already made those preparations. People prepare for a lot of things. They prepare for storms. We got the hurricane coming. People are preparing for it by gathering up the things they may, <clears throat> they may need after this storm has gone. When there's no power and there's no... Uh, things that life is not normal and life's going to be hard for a little while. They're preparing for that now because they see it coming. Folks, Christ is soon to come back. He is soon to return to judge this world and to give every man according to his works. Are you prepared to face God today? You can be if you'll just heed the call that he is placing upon your heart right now. I pray that you'll do that, that you'll ask for forgiveness. You'll let him be your Lord and your Savior and that you one day will live with him forevermore and not be separated for, from, for eternity from God by being in hell. God, I thank you today for your word that warns us, that tells us of that that is soon to happen and that that is soon to come. But yet, God, today it seems to be falling on deaf ears. People that don't believe it's true. People believe that it's just a hearsay. It's just stories passed down through time. But God, we know according to your word, it's true. 
one day you're going to send your son back to claim your children, your bride. And Lord, those that are left behind are going to pay an awful price. God, I pray today, let your word go forth this morning, anointed by the Holy Ghost, to penetrate every heart of anybody that's lost. God, those that are saved and are your children, it'll encourage them to hold on and, and, and stand true to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.